Continuing through the card, we got this next fight with Irini, Irina Alexeva. She's taking on Melissa Dixon. And Russian Ronda, Irina Alexeva, she announced herself to UFC fans in a big way in her UFC debut in April. Her first impression maybe wasn't the best with missing weight by four pounds, but she quickly made everyone forget that weight was with a first round knee bar finish. And she was a sizable underdog going in the fight. She was coming off a long layoff, but none of that seemed to matter. And she's marketable in terms of her nickname, her personality, being a finisher. So if she can get two wins in a row, she'll probably get a chance to break into the rankings in her next fight. And Melissa Dixon, she's making her UFC debut Saturday night. She's looking to run her record to 6-0. and 32-year-old fighter. She's fighting out of England. It's going to be her first fight in the United States, first fight outside of Europe. I'm not sure how Dixon was really given this opportunity because she hasn't fought in 11 months. Her last fight... Early this year was canceled due to Dixon botching the weight cut. And so I'm not sure how she got this chance, but good for her. And she's fought her last three fights for Aries FC, which is a respectable promotion. She beat a 7-0 fighter her last outing. She's beaten an Olympic judoka before. So she's had some good victories under her belt. And you look at how these girls match up with Arena Alexeva. She's big for the weight class. She has a long build, and she's a finisher. She's a decent grappler, optimistic in the stand-up, and isn't really the best, but she'll throw some sloppy kicks out there, body and legs. She has no real setups or real ability to go first. Um, mainly wants to make fighters come to her where she looks for counters. She'll counter with hooks and overhands, and she has some power. She's dangerous. She can land in the first round, but does seem like she slows down majorly when she's forced to strike and can't get the takedown and she does a lot of strange things too like she'll turn her back or kind of do these odd movements in the case try to bait her opponents to come to her and then try to kind of land counters but as she becomes slower and more tired it just looks dumb because she gets hit and it's ineffective and very hittable fighter, very susceptible to leg kicks. And her grappling is her bread and butter. She's physical in the clinch. Her entries to get the takedown are not that good. But when she can get there, she has good ability to get the fights to the mat with her judo. She has accurate and aggressive ground and pound in the top position. She has good submission game. We saw in her last fight, she hit that knee bar. She has one other submission win. And I haven't seen much of her on her back or on top for elongated periods of time really though. But she has shown that she could finish the fight with ground and pound and with submissions quickly. And Melissa Dixon, she's a well-rounded fighter. She's a pressure fighter. She has good boxing. And she has the, that ability and mentality to dig in and brawl. In this fight, she has to fight that urge to brawl, throw leg kicks, look to make Alex Eva pay by landing first and landing last, not really getting sucked into that chaos. After about seven minutes, I think Dixon will have a big edge cardio-wise and the striking will be easier with less danger coming from Alex Siva. And defensively, though, Dixon early is hittable and it gives Alex Siva a chance in that first round. But she has a chin. She's never been finished. She was getting lit up early in her last fight. She got dropped, but she kept her composure and then got the finish. And I think this fight, if Dixon get past the first round, it's going to be hers to lose, but there's danger early. And with Dixon, she's a good wrestler. She has nice takedowns against the cage, good scrambling ability. Her double legs and her clinch game are on point, very strong. Like I said at the top of the video, she was able to defeat Rizlan Zuok and outmuscle her in the clinch. And Zuok is a Olympic judoka, so that was very impressive. And when Dixon get on top, she has good control. She's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. I think she can defend submissions, laying ground and pound, do well on top. Very good back takes, back control, and her cardio is on point. She definitely has the edge in the cardio. If she could put aside the traveling to the United States, it be in her UFC debut, the layoff, and she does well on the scales this time, then she should do well. I think Dixon may struggle early, but I think she's going to outlast Alex Eva and win via third round TKO. So give me Melissa Dixon to get the victory in this fight via third round TKO.